we'll be taking up the third set of the uh, chapter that is the growth of population. Now, what is the growth of population? It is a net change in population between the two points of time expressed as percentage of population at a given period of time. I repeat, children, that growth is the change in the population between two points of time. This change can be because of certain reasons. One is the change in the birth rate. Second, the change in the death rate. And the third factor, which is also responsible for the growth of population in any parts of the world, is the migration. Now, what are the different types of population growth? Population growth, we discuss that they are of two types. One can be the positive growth. Another can be the negative growth. Now, what is the growth of population when we say it is a positive growth? So positive means when the population increases between the two given points of time, it will be known as the positive growth of population. Now the question is, under which circumstances the population increases? So it can be due to the high birth rate and the low death rate, or when the people migrate from the other countries, that's also responsible for the increase in the population growth, which is known as the positive growth of population. Now the second type is negative growth. So negative growth means when the population decreases between the two given points of time, it is known as the negative growth. So how the population decreases? It takes place when the birth rate lowers down than the death rate, or when the people migrate to the other countries, that is also one factor which is responsible for the negative growth rate. Now look at the screens, children, and you can have a view of the table showing the decadal growth rates in India. So there are the three columns. One column shows the census years. Second, the total population of the corresponding census year. And the third column interprets the percentage of the growth. So if you look at the third column, which is a percentage of the growth, you can see that in 1921, there was a negative growth. So that negative growth was 0.31 percentage growth. And in all the other years, census years, you find there's a positive growth. And the last positive growth, which is seen in the census 2011, that is 17.6 percent growth of the population. Now this diagram is a line graph which shows the percentage growth rates of the population between the different years 1951 to 61 to 2001 and 2011. So in 1961 and 71, till then in the previous decade, that is 51 to 61, there was a rise in the percentage of the growth of population. And that rise was from 21% to 24.8%. As the diagram is self-explanatory, that the curve is rising up. So after that, from 61, 71 onwards, till 2001 and 2011, there's a gradual fall in the growth rate of the population. And that population has fallen from 24% to 17.64% that was in 2001 census. Now, according to this diagram, we divide the different census years into four parts. One, the part of the stagnant growth rate. 
which was before 1921. The second is the period of steady growth rate that is from 1921 to 1951. The third is the period of rapid growth rate from 1951 to 81 and the period of declining growth rate that is after 1981. So all these four stages of the growth rate we'll be discussing separately. Now first we take up the period of the stagnant growth rate. As I've told you, this is the period before 1921. So during most of the 19th century, the India witnessed irregular and slow growth of population. Since then, the population of India had been increasing consistently. The census of 1921 is an exception as it is reported a slight decline in the population and that decline is minus 0.03%. So this is because the decline in the place of rise is the population that the year 1921 is called a demographic divide year. Because in this year, instead of the rise in population, there had been a negative growth of population. Now there are certain factors why there was a negative growth of population in this year 1921, the year which is known as a demographic divide year. The first factor responsible for that is there were large number of deaths caused by the fatal diseases such as influenza, plague, smallpox, cholera, etc. And the second major reason responsible for the negative growth is the large number of soldiers who lost their lives in the World War I, which ended up in 1918. So that was a major cause for the decline in the population. Now we take up the second stage of the population growth, and this is known as a period of steady growth rate from the year 1921 to 1951. So these 30 years have registered a growth of 47.3%. So these 30 years means from 1921 to 1951, the period which is known as a steady growth rate period. So this steady growth was due to the development in the medical facilities. So medical facilities means which reduced the death rates. And the death rates which used to happen because of the certain drought conditions also declined. Another factor responsible for the steady growth is the developed means of transportation which were able to meet the food shortage in the certain areas of the country. Next factor is the agricultural economy of the India showed a substantial improvement because this is the period when the green revolution also started in the country resulting into the increase in the agricultural production in the various parts of the country. And the next factor is the crude death rate declined but the crude birth rate remained high. So this was one reason that there was a steady population growth rate in the country. Now, if you look up at the screens, this table tells you about the changing birth rates, the changing death rates, resulting into the change in the natural increase in the population. So these four columns are the columns for the census years, for the crude birth rate per thousand, crude death rate per thousand, and the last column is indicating the natural rate increase per thousand of the population. So for the years 1911 onwards, up to 2002, if you just look at the last column, 
which shows the natural rate of the increase per thousand of the population. You can see in 1911, this increase was 6 only because the birth rate was 49 and the death rate was 43, resulting into the increase of 6 persons uh, per thousand. Likewise, in 1921, this was only 1, 1931, 10, and the highest natural rate of increase in this table you can view for the two years, that is 1971 and 1981. If you look at the table, it is self-explanatory that in these two years, the birth rate was very high, that was 37 and 34, whereas the death rate had declined a lot with 15 and 12 respectively, resulting into the natural rate of increase 22 per thousand for these two years. Now the third is the period of rapid growth rate from 1951 to 81. In this period, the growth rate had been very high, that is 89.36, and the average growth rate was 2.2 percent per annum. And the factors responsible for that are quite obvious that the better health facilities the better living conditions, decline in death rate, and high natural increase was the result of all these facilities. And on the last phase is the period of the declining growth rate, which is after 1981. So in this period, you can just see that in 1971, the highest growth rate was 2.48% which declined to 2.46 in 1981, and there was a further decline in 1991 with 2.38%, and 2001, there was little decline again, that is 2.15. So dear children, this was all about the growth of population, and the different stages of the growth of population we have studied, that the rapid increase, declining growth, steady increase, these are the different stages of the growth rate. Now the last part is left, which we'll be taking up later, that is the composition of population.